Hey craft students, today we're going to make a rabbit and we're going to show texture. First I'm going to show you how to draw the rabbit. We're going to start with a circle about three quarters down on your paper. Now my circle is not perfect and yours won't be either. From that circle we're going to do the sides of his head a little curve in, kind of like a C shape and a backward C shape into the middle and now to connect them. So I'm going in, up and over, a little arch to connect. Now I think you should start with pencil in case you make mistakes. I'm going it right in with Sharpie, but we're drawing some big long arches for those bunny ears. Maybe you know a bunny who has floppy ears and you would like to do floppy ears. I know one of my rabbits at home has floppy ears and I could draw the floppy ears if I'd like to. Now I'm drawing the bunny's torso, the front of the bunny, and this is kind of going to look like a portrait of a bunny. Now from the edge of the ear, I'm going to make a line that connects to the edge of the circle. Edge of the ear to the edge of the circle. Two eyes. Now a rabbit's eyes are on the side of his head, which is kind of a weird perspective. I'm just coloring in those eyes, giving the eye a little highlight or a little white mark. Drawing a V for the bunny's nose that goes into a W, a V line and a W. Now I'm going to show you texture. Now a rabbit is furry. And how could we show fur? Well, I'm going to show fur with lots of little lines. You might want to show fur with lots of zigzag lines. Or maybe it's a rabbit with curly hair and you can do curls all over him. This part up to you, but you do need to show texture somehow. Now I'm just going to show texture with my lines to show that he's a fuzzy furry bunny. And I might not put texture all over, but I'm going to put it on most of my rabbit. So I'm drawing in these little lines to show texture. And if you notice, I'm not just putting lines all random. I'm doing lines of little lines. I'm doing them straight across, trying to make them the same size. Of course not perfect because we, our artwork is perfect no matter how we do it. And there we go, a fuzzy bunny. You've done great up to this point, now we're going to add in some color. I'm going to make my rabbit a rainbow rabbit, but maybe you want to make yours more realistic. Maybe a black and white rabbit or a brown rabbit. This part's up to you. I'm going to start with pink and I'm going to do orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Now you don't have to do yours like this. Make sure to make your rabbit your own and you are unique so your rabbit will be unique. So I'm just coloring in the parts I'd like to color in. Maybe I'm going to leave part of my rabbit white because I do know that some rabbits are white fluffy rabbits. I'm just going to put all my colors in. Really taking my time. Really coloring it all in, making sure there's not lots of white. It's, this is not a scribble project. 
This is a do really good job project. Now my background looked a little bland, so I'm adding in some flowers. Just to make my background a little more interesting. And I can even show texture on the flower, like the inside of the flower has a texture. I'm doing a texture by doing lots of little dots to show it's bumpy. I know the leaves are smooth, so I'm not putting a lot of texture there. And I'll color those in. Lastly, I'm going to use watercolor to paint my background. But you might want to color your background with crayon. Or use a different kind of paint. Or do the marker watercolor technique we learned earlier in the year. So I'm going to make my background nice and bright and blue. I'm going to do blues and yellows <clears throat> to make a nice bright background. I can't wait to see how yours all come out. I know they're going to be all different and unique. I hope you have a great rest of your week and a great day. I hope to see you soon. Bye.